Welcome back to another episode of Model GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Alex Rins getting a little slap on the wrists from Honda. Now, during the Coda Grand Prix weekend, Alex Rins was giving an interview and he said that he feels that Honda relies little on him and he feels a little untapped. He went on to give an example of what he meant by this and he said, a small example is what happened in Argentina. After I was testing Mark's chassis, which is different from the one that Johan Mir is using, I asked them to let me test Mir's chassis so he could get an overall idea of the both of them. He said, I thought it was the right time and they said no, even though they had spare units. I tried to talk to them, but they are very square. It's not that they don't listen to me, but they just don't take advantage of me. And this didn't sit well with the Honda board. And they said that they were very hurt by Rins's comments. They also warned Rins that if he makes negative statements about Honda in public again, they will take appropriate measures. Now, he did go on to win the race in Kota, but and I think Reigns is probably going to get in hot water again with Honda because after the Heret test, Reigns responded to a direct question about if he tried the Calix chassis or not. And he said, no, and I was quite surprised because they originally said to me that only Stefan Bradl is going to try the new chassis. And then I found out from TV that Johan Mir had also tried the chassis. Now, unlucky for Johan that the bike stopped in corner sixth, but I was really surprised about this. Now, for me, I will be very honest, and I think it's very weird the stance Honda have taken with Rins. Rins seems to have gelled with the bike better than any other of the Honda riders. In Argentina, they gave Rins Marc Marquez's special chassis that only Marc Marquez has access to. Rins asked for the current model that Johan Mir is on so he could back-to-back -back test and give his feedback between the two. Now, you have to remember, when they got to Cota, Alex Rins was told that he was going back to the original frame that Honda started the season with. So he had gone back two steps in the frame. So you can't really blame him for being a little pissed off and annoyed. Do you think it's kind of ironic that he won in Kota, even though Kota is an edge case track, that he still won with the outdated frame, according to Honda or himself. So I think Rins is learning about the Honda way where you cannot talk negatively about the company. But I think for us as race fans and motorbike racing fans, it is actually horrible to actually think that a rider can't turn around and speak his mind and give a true account of the way he is feeling or what is going on with a situation. Everything has turned pretty too much corporate. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think about Honda giving Rins a slap? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.